welcome to my channel okay so for this particular quarantine series I'll be sharing with you pajama looks as well as beachwear and other casual wear that I've been rocking during the quarantine season so today I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite pajama looks and as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters we find sustainability very sexy and so I'll be leaving you sustainability tips and tricks on how you could be more sustainable in an era of fast fashion and of course today's video is a great example because I am always looking into my closet to see what I could find and inspire or motivate you because I believe that during this quarantine season you could definitely look into your closet and find pieces that you could wear over and over again and of course find creative ways to up the pajama game don't just wear them to bed but you can wear them around the house and it would still uplift your spirits because you could add one of your favorite everyday accessory, whether it's a scarf or uh, maybe it's a belt. In my case, it's most likely to be a belt because I love belts. So I went into my wardrobe and found these amazing pajamas. Some of them were bought like ages ago at different occasions, different years during my lifetime. And yet I find pieces that I could mix and match perfectly so i'll be sharing them with you today for your inspiration so i guess it's fitting to start with the pants in look one the pants is about seven years old i got it ages ago it's a pretty versatile piece i have worn it on the beach to the resort and so it's a piece that can alternate between a nightwear as well as a beach cover-up. Really love it. Look 2 is a great dude for the Louis Vuitton um, print. I gravitated towards this print not really knowing that it resembles that brand. But I do like it. But I have some problem with it during quarantine and I discovered that because it's very staticky <laughs> if that's a word it just has a lot of static so it clings to your body and it makes it a little bit uh, uncomfortable at times and it's a testament to the fabric as well I mean this piece in silk would be gorgeous but it is a hundred percent polyester and you guys know me and polyester don't get along very well so it's so important that whenever you're considering buying in the future to definitely reject polyester because during this quarantine season it definitely didn't solve me well Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys! If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. So here they are guys. If you click on these buttons, you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. And most importantly guys, it's free. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya! Let's get back to the video. Look 3 is a really gorgeous piece. I absolutely love this piece and I've taken it everywhere with me um, since I bought it. And it was thrifted about 13 or so years ago now. It's a piece by Oscar De La Renta, but this piece is also synthetic, guys. I think it's a mixed fiber and you would see the information um, there but it just goes to show that high-end brands definitely incorporate polyester into their brands which is so surprising 
honestly i can't believe they do but it's the nature of the fast fashion industry and it's something that we definitely have to pay attention to so these are some tips and tricks on how you can really care for your synthetic items in your closet but this piece it did serve me well throughout my quarantine period and I enjoyed wearing it this pants is a piece I also got ages ago honestly it's over 10 years now and it is one of my favorite go-to pajama pants because I love the looseness I love the way it fits it's a piece that you can definitely wear outside of the house you can actually style it up with a really nice top look for it should be a very familiar piece to you guys um well at least the house coat and this i use as both a house coat as well as a piece that i pair over jeans it pairs beautifully as a kimono so i wear it inside and outside the house because it's too gorgeous to just live in the house don't you agree i really love this print and again the fabric is definitely something that is problematic but as i've mentioned to you guys before i'm wearing my pieces to death the pajama is an oldie got it eight years ago also love it and this shoe is the piece that i'll be pairing with outfit number five and it's a piece that i've been pairing with all of my <laughs> pajamas because i think it just fits with the whole look of the pajama and again i'm wearing the same pants because it pairs beautifully with this coat as well and this is another versatile piece i wear i've worn this piece outside and it is such a gorgeous print i just love this i've shown you guys the slip dress version of this whole outfit and it's just stunning i love it i bought the set about three years ago from a local street vendor and i really really love it it's actually a second hand piece some people may find that gross but i love it and the pants that i'm pairing it with i got it from my friend karen in new york it's about over seven years old she gave it to me when i was in new york oh i think she brought it for me when she came to see me so it's very similar print to the um dressing gown so i love the pairing i really really love this look outfit number six is a piece from victoria's secret and i've had this piece for quite a while as well yes guys the stuff in my closet they are pretty pretty old i've had them forever but as you can see i do really take very good care of them they are still in very good shape the pants is about five years old and the top is about the same age as well yeah i think i got them around the same time but it's not a set completely two different pieces that were bought on separate occasions and as usual they are definitely not of the greatest fabric but here are some tips and tricks for items that are made of synthetic fibers i find them very useful okay so now we are on to how i've upgraded the looks for when i'm going out on my balcony just to get some fresh air and to greet my neighbors for me belt is an important part of my wardrobe i've 
I have a huge collection of belts and I've shared my luxury collection with you guys before but these are just simple ones that I have chosen this is a piece from Zara it's a really great leather belt and I paired it with this particular outfit for that reason that the trouser slash pyjama bottoms have a piping that is made from leopard I found that so interesting it's such an interesting combination so it definitely got my creative juices flowing and I love it I just love the combination of colors and the floral look it makes me feel happy wearing this combination so it's definitely a, an inspirational look for you guys and i hope you like it and of course again my zara belt my broad belt that i wear with absolutely everything so this should come as no surprise that i'm pairing it here as well and guys these outfits definitely make me feel happy and this is part of the goal of this video is that you wear stuff that make you feel happy it's spring florals no brainer <laughs> so it's definitely something that keeps me motivated and get me going and these prints definitely do it for me so of course i took my looks outside because you don't want your neighbors or if somebody some human being happens to go by which i'm hoping i'll see some human beings outside but i didn't see anyone today guys and well not yet on this particular time when i was outside and so of course here i am again just trying to get glimpses of life just proof that there are other lives besides me and if you do happen to see proof of life then they would recognize that this is somebody that definitely doesn't let quarantine or social distancing get you down take it in stride do what needs to be done get yourself motivated and try to really really just enjoy if i could use that word loosely enjoy the quarantine period as best as it could because we have no other options at the moment so there's no point sitting back and wallowing in self-pity and here i am trying to get the attention of the first human being i saw on that particular day so definitely get up get your coffee or your tea whatever your jam is and get yourself going just do your thing whatever you need to do dance during my quarantine um covid care i definitely had to still get up dance my way out of covid because i wasn't gonna let covid beat me and of course as you guys have seen it turned out not to be covid or i don't think it is but if it is i definitely whip its ass and so i'm back guys and i really hope that i sincerely hope you get inspired really and truly from these look. upgrade your pajama trend let them work for you get your possible wear don't just confine them to the house or to the bedroom this quarantine season is definitely the time to really and truly upgrade the looks and get your way out of your pieces. Enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Time for tuxedos for no reason.